kids, let's learn about ticks. Come on, Timmy. Oh gosh. That's a good dog. Come here, bud. Come on, Simon. Oh my goodness. Yay, good boy. Good boy. So this little guy, Simon, presented today for not being able to use his legs. And we found a giant engorged tick on his neck. And we removed the tick. And he's getting way better already. He can use his legs much more. He's not as weak. So there is a disease called tick paralysis that dogs and cats and probably people can get that is caused by a toxin that the ticks produce. They carry it in their salivary glands. And when they bite the animal and feed on the animal, that toxin gets transmitted into their bloodstream and causes the paralysis. And it affects all four limbs. And the biggest problem with that is if it goes long enough, it actually can cause paralysis of the diaphragm, which means they can't breathe and that can be fatal. So really, really important, obviously, that we prevent tick bites but also if you see any symptoms like that, that your animal get checked out right away.